Hello everyone. We just wanted to do a video today and talk with you about a few specific things that have been happening with regards to Equus. Um, but first, we would like to say a massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. Um, we've only been doing it six months. Six months, yeah. And we've been astounded by how much interest and love and positivity we've had from everybody that's been watching. Um, so we hope that you're enjoying them. Clearly, we're doing something right, I think. Yeah, the number of subscribers. We, we've almost hit 10,000 subscribers. I think we're on nine and a half thousand subscribers at the moment. And bearing in mind, we've only been doing this for six months. So, I mean, that's amazing. Um, I think, you know, obviously a lot of it's to do with Zingaro and uh, Ryan and Sophie sailing, being yeah, on their channels and then out. helping us out. But yeah. it's still great. 10,000 subscribers and or almost 10,000 in six months has been awesome. Yeah. So just a massive thank you from us. And you probably remember from the last video we did, I we mentioned at the end that uh, we had something to discuss, which was about the YouTube channel. So I think, do you want to just chat about? Yeah, that? I mean, I think firstly, we owe you all a bit of an apology because when we started this, we were doing a video every week and we were doing it like clockwork and it was being released every Friday. And since we got to America, that really, um, uh, that really slowed down. We were sort of releasing a video every two to three weeks and we had a lot of comments, didn't we? People wondering where we'd gone. And yeah, you've disappeared. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there are a couple of reasons for it. Um, the first reason was obviously we spent a lot of time in the Caribbean and parts are difficult to source there. Um, so now we're back in the US. We had a load of things that we wanted to uh, fix and improve on the boat, which we've done now. Um, so we were very busy with that. But I think the main thing that happened that really demotivated us was that we got an email from YouTube, well, from AdSense actually, but it's still Google, um, saying that um, our AdSense count had been disabled due to invalid traffic. Um, so this was a bit of a shock. And then I think the same day I got another email from them saying our AdSense account had been canceled. And because of that, um, YouTube have taken us out of the partner program so we no longer get any compensation any commission for any of the ads they show on our channel um, and I mean it wasn't huge amounts of money but we were making a few hundred dollars a month um, which was really nice wasn't it you know it was it was enough yeah. to pay for the insurance on the yacht and to you know it was really good and it was really there to sort of motivate us um, but unfortunately the with Google there's no way to there's a way to appeal it um, but it's an automated form and I appealed it, nothing happened. This went on for about two months and yeah, we're, we're out of the partner program. We can't monetize our channel um, and it's really, really demotivated us. I mean, we didn't, we never really were doing it for the money, were we? But no. it was, it was a nice thing and especially, you know, it, it takes us probably what, 20 hours a week to, to do a video. It's, yeah. it's quite a lot of work. I think really what, what, what the point of this is, is that we wanted to do this very organically. We wanted to do it for the love of doing it and really to relay, especially during these tough times, what we're doing to all the people back home, our friends, our family, um, our family in South Africa. It was really important to document everything we're doing and also so we can look back at it, back on this yeah, and definitely. enjoy it. Um, and so we decided not to do Patreon. We thought we would just have this as a completely um, cost-free channel to viewers and subscribers um, and then this has happened with AdSense and we've spoken to uh, Sophie um, from Ryan and Sophie Sailing and a few other channels who are also doing what we're doing and they were totally shocked about what has happened and they were gobsmacked we can't speak to anyone we can't get hold of anyone we can't do anything we're totally disabled yeah and, and just to explain what the issue is um, invalid traffic essentially means that we're sending people to our videos or to our ads if we were hosting the ads on a website and it's fake traffic it's people clicking on the on the ads people watching the videos or rather not people robots just you know continuously doing this 
and we don't even have a website so we've got no way of controlling the traffic that comes and watches our videos so this is really down to, to YouTube we certainly haven't paid for any traffic we haven't paid for likes we haven't paid for subscribers I've nothing like robots. that no, I haven't paid for any <laughs> robots um, but the other ironic thing is it said that um, they would the money that they owed us they would pay after 30 days once they'd looked into this invalid traffic and they'd make any deductions for the invalid traffic ad spend. Um, when we got the final payment, they'd made absolutely no deductions. So, I mean, I just don't understand it. We went in and looked at the analytics. There were no spikes on the number of views on our videos, no spikes on the money we were receiving for the videos. I mean, we're talking probably like less than a hundred bucks a video. Like we're not talking a lot of money here at all. It's not, uh, you know, traffic's doing well, but it's a very, very, I mean, sorry, our channel's doing well, but it's a very, very small uh, amount yeah. of uh, traffic. So we're really at a loss as what we can do. What, we haven't done anything wrong. Um, I honestly think it's a, it's a mistake. I think it's a, maybe a computer mistake. A glitch in the matrix. Possibly, <laughs> but it's just, it's, it's really frustrating and it's really demotivating because we don't want to set up a patron. We don't want to ask people to to sponsor us and to pay. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but we, we you know, we, we just thought it we wanted It was just a... really for the love of it. Yeah, and, and think... getting the AdSense was really nice because it would pay for the insurance on the boat, it would pay for things and it would make it, make it put some value to our time that we're spending making these videos. Yeah. So yeah. we're, I don't know, I'm quite angry about it, but we're, we're definitely upset, aren't we? Yeah, and I think it just, as James said, I think it has just demotivated us a little bit, but we've kind of turned a corner now, um, and we, we're we back on the video making. So. Yeah, not every week though, we're not doing it every yeah. week, are we? We're doing it as and no. so when we can. Um, but one thing that you really could help us with, um, our last course of action is to um, post a message in one of the AdSense forums and hope that someone from Google um, picks it up and looks into our case. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. If you've got five minutes and if you don't mind, if you could just click that link and upvote our question because I think I posted this uh, this question a little while ago and it's just dropped to the bottom of the line and no one's answered us, no one's helped us. So if you could just upvote it, if you want to put a comment in there, by all means, um, but if you could just upvote it and hopefully that will get to the top of the forum someone from Google might look at it and they might realise they've made a mistake and um, get us back in the YouTube Partner Program um, because, yeah, it's gutting. We were doing so well and then this has happened and it's... So, a bit of a sob story um, and I hope that nobody thinks that this is a money thing but obviously when you do something like this and you put your heart and your soul into something, um, when you get kicked in the teeth when you're not asking for any money in the first place. Um, it's a little bit uh, soul destroying. Um, but anyway, as James said, if you can help us, that will be great and we will continue to do more videos. And we're loving America so far, aren't we? We are. <laughs> Apart from, can I, can I mention the weather? Oh yes. We're, so we, we're up here for hurricane season because our insurance company says we've got to be out of the Caribbean. We've either got to be back in the ABC Islands or north of, I think it's Cape Hatteras in America um, for hurricane season. So we are, at the moment, we're um, uh, near Long Island and we have had a direct hit with one hurricane, Hurricane Henri, and then we've had a close hit with the remnants of Hurricane Ida. Um, that was and, a few days and ago. The tornado in and Annapolis. we got 15, Direct we got 20 tornado. minutes notice in Annapolis. Our phones went mental with a weather warning saying that there was a tornado coming in 20 minutes. And we dragged anchor um, in Annapolis in a very tight anchorage. And sadly, it was <laughs> a pure panic within 15 minutes and there was no way of recording it. I have a, like a snippet for about two minutes, which I, I'm sure I can add in somewhere. Yeah. But so, if, if you've ever had a tornado coming at you, which I'm sure people in the Annapolis area have done so, it's one of the most terrifying things we've ever experienced. Especially when you're in a tight anchorage and you've only got 15 minutes warning. But um, <laughs> yeah, I think maybe the insurance company have got it wrong and they think hurricane season means we're really into yeah, hurricanes. Yeah, some, some, something's mixed up somewhere. <laughs>
<laughs> but apart from the, the apart from the hurricane and tornado issue, we're enjoying America. It's really, really good. And everyone's been so friendly and helpful. Yeah, they? amazing. And it's been a great Loving place to it. get bits done on the boat and get parts and everything like that. Yeah. So really, really nice. Yeah, miss the blue sea though. We do miss the Caribbean water, but, uh, but other than that, we're having a great time. Yeah. Anyway, cheers and thanks for subscribing. Thank and, you. and thanks for being with us on this journey. Thanks for being here. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Fine. Yes, you got teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's stuff. So Go right a bit. Right. Christ, you, you, you don't sail anywhere. <laughs> oh no, don't do that. No, Stop it. it. Next time, aboard Equus. Me and my naughty husband sail to West End with hardly any sleep. We check out of the Bahamas and stretch our legs before our passage. And we take one final glimpse of paradise as we set sail for America.